Right, here we go. I'm going to obviously start off open Stellarium. Just go get it to a bit dark. So I've got a nice dark sky to look at. That's that bit. Next thing, go up to the right, click the tools. First thing you want, you can do the eye. You don't need an eyepiece, you need a lens. And there'll be some already there. I've added one already, so all you've got to do, if you give it a name, I'll just call it Gary's Flattener Reducer. And the multiplier, as you said to me, it's 0.8. So in here, just type 0.8. 0.8. Make sure it was a number. Oh, no. well, I don't know why it does this. My screen doesn't always work. Gary's FR. Sensor. The sensor is your camera. So I've already got a 600D already in here. So what we got to do is type in the name. Obviously, give it a name. I'll just change it to Gary's for now. <laughs> Gary 600D. Those the resolution is just type in 5184. I looked it all up, so and just type that in there. The chip width that ain't right. It should be 22.3. So you can just fill those in. The pixel size is 4.3. So that's, once you've filled that in, that's the same. Don't worry about those at the bottom. Let's go to your telescope, which star wise, star wise, star wise, similarly, this, if you look, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go down the bottom, add one, right? Add another, it comes up my telescope. I'll just type in Gary's 70 ED. Focal length, add 420, diameter 70 mil. Job done. So now you've added the lens, which is your fill flattener reducer, sensor, which is effectively your camera. Just blah, 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 blah. You, if you, you can either, if you've got one that's already there, you can tweak it, but if not, just go add add it and then just put in whatever you want put in the um the things but if you look at that screen those are the actual ones for yours the telescope gary's doodah then you can simply close that box there's a little cross at the top there now go and select your target so say let's do m101 it's quite a nice target isn't it there he is, spot on. Now go up here and click on image sensor frame and it will put a frame around the target which is what your camera, what your image will look like. Now up here uh, in this little square box just pick the, the one that you want. So look, if I change that was the 290, that's my 750D, slightly different size isn't it? Just click through until you get to Gary's 600. Change your telescope to 70. That's my, there's your 70 ED. And then your field reducer, Gary's, multiplied by 0.8. Don't know why it's changing the angle when I go to Gary's 70D. Not that I'm really that fast, but it'll show you what you get. Obviously, it's a bit wonky. <laughs> so, what you got to do is go into, into um, the reason it's different is because it is different. I've put the wrong details in here. 420 and these are chip horizontal flip vertical so click those in and out that will make it change and 
I was about that. Gary 70 AD. This was on an equatorial main, which it is, so you need that one checked really to give it a, a more accurate reading. This one, the reason that one's staying straight is because I haven't clicked that box. So that's what it'll look like. It'll be the same now for both of them. So make sure you click the um, equatorial mount on your telescope bit, and then it will it will change with time. So if I if I flick if I speed that up, it will rotate with the star. Get it? Because it's on an equatorial mount. Bloody clever stuff. And of course, it, being that target, it's quite close to the um, Polaris anyway, so it will just go round and round and round. But if I was to stop it, perhaps choose a different target, what was that one we were doing? The M87? Zoom in on that. Now, if you watch it, you'll see it. Should go across the sky. Clever, isn't it? I like that. Go backwards. It'll arc like an equatorial man. Get a drift. Voila. Job done.